Greetings from Chamonix, France. I'd like to take you through the steps to take a bearing from a map and to put it out into the field. When you're doing this, it's going to be really helpful if you do it indoors first in a comfortable place with all the necessary things. Now your tools are going to be your compass and your pencil and your map, but you might also want to have, for instance, a hot drink handy. Make sure your hot drink is in good condition. Make sure your pencil is sharp. And then also you should check the declination on your compass to make sure it's accurate. We're going to use our starting place as the house in Les Moussous, right here. And we're going to take a bearing to a known point the first time we do this. So we're going to take a bearing to the mid-station of the Aiguille de Midi across the valley. So we're going to put the back end of the compass, that's this one, at the starting point where we are, and the front end of the compass pointing to the thing we're taking the bearing from, that is the mid-station. Line it up so that the compass is going from one to the other, and then you want to spin the dial on the compass so that the north on the compass faces north on the map. It's a good idea to write uh, the line and the bearing on your map, so when you're out in the field you have that. So we have 136 degrees, that's the bearing from the house here in Mosu up to the middle of the Iguida. Now we're ready to go and take our bearing into the field. So we've got 136 degrees on our compass. Let's take it outside and see where it points us. So out here you can see there's a lot of mountains to choose from. I'm going to line my compass up so I can figure out which one is the mid-station of the Aguina Midi. What I want to do is hold the compass at arm's length and adjust the mirror so that I can see the face of the compass even when I'm holding it out in front of me. And then I'm going to move the compass until it lines up with the bearing that I've set. Make sure the compass is flat in the horizontal plane. You don't want it tipped to one side or the other. Holding the compass out, using the mirror to look at the bearing, I can see when I point it at 136 degrees, it points towards the mid-station of the Aguida Medi. So that's a good way to test it. You know where you are, you know what you're taking a bearing to, and so you can check and make sure your bearing will take you to the right place.